Right, it's Andy here, FTTV Boxing, young protege, undefeated friend of mine, Giorgio. How are you doing, mate? You look f***ing incredible up there. Very well, thank you. Just weighed in, um, ready to eat, refuel, and uh, looking to put a nice, nice, great performance on uh, Saturday night at the Copper Box. A few people, a few of my fans are there, so uh, I'm very excited, very excited to box in London for the first time. A little bit, a little bit, a bit, a bit nudgy going on there, on the old way in there. Yeah, yeah, you're, um, you're, right, you're right, Darren. Thank you. Yeah, so um, I said, oh, I just said to him, just to stir, a little, stir the pot up a little bit. So I was like, you're getting a bit, because you got real close, you know, you got, he's fucking right up at me. I went, you're getting a bit close. And he goes, yeah, I am. Um, but it's, it's all part of the game, isn't it? So but he's respectable. We didn't do anything like that. But yeah, it'd be a good good test for me on Saturday. Another good test. So um, looking forward to it. Yeah, and I, I mean, you're coming on leaps and bounds. You've got, you know, three wins, three knockouts. Number four on the cards. Never know. Um, I always say, I don't go. I don't force a stoppage. I go in there. I always say I go and do my job, do my best, and um, look. The stoppage always comes when uh, I'm boxing at my best, doing what I do, and just staying focused. Don't don't think about no knockout because it won't happen. So um, yeah, knockout potentially. You never know. Never know. Um, but it's a touch if I do get it. But. A W is always the. It's always in my mind. The W, nothing else. I mean, you've got a lot of your stable mates on the card. So yeah. uh, you know, obviously Mark's here with Johnny and John and and Sonny and, 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 and Sonny. <laughs> oh yeah, there he is over there. Oh, Sonny, you want to jump in? <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Hi, Sonny, how you doing? So, Sonny Evans, tell them, tell the fans at home the relationship here. Um. Because some might not he's, know. He's like my simple-minded little brother, really. Um, no, nah, in, in all seriousness, um, Giorgio's a fighter that I actually had an eye on um, from the amateur days. Before I even realised, I was um, keeping up with his career. Uh, I always usually do, like, I try and see who the Repton boys are and some of the other gyms I, I went to as an amateur. So, knew Giorgio from there. We met at a boxing show uh, probably a couple of years ago now. Um, we clicked it off and, yeah, I've been supporting him ever since. Uh, he's a fantastic fighter, and I mean, I'm fully in his corner. Yeah, I mean, obviously we've, we've met you before. First, you were actually our first ever pro fight that we covered. Kedwards Campos fight back over when we met you at Box Park. So, just talking about your last fight. Sorry to jump off you for a no, sec, George. I know you're starving hungry. You need the whole thing. Don't believe your hand up. Rest your hand. I am Hollywood, yeah. Hollywood, yeah. We don't, we, it should be me holding it all the time, <laughs> Well, he said he's a bit weak. We're going to try and hold him up together, no, I think. Weak, no. Nah, Giorgio's not fight, weak. Fantastic fight. Really unfortunate cut. I mean, we were quite worried watching at home because we know how these things go. How, how did you feel after that? It was so good to get the win, but, you know, it's looking like it's healing pretty well. I mean, I'll be real on the night. Uh, initially, I, I was a bit disappointed. I Boxing made me feel like a kid again, as it does sometimes. And, um, yeah, I just didn't feel like... I was ready for the fight to finish. I still had a lot more to give and I was looking forward to giving it, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, but yeah, we got the win and now we're back. We're thinking about what's next. We're not looking back. I um, thought it was a good performance. I thought I won every round, but look, fresh off uh, uh, fresh off the plane. I think I got back Tuesday, straight down to London uh, a couple of days later to support Giorgio. It's the next week, it's the next fighter and it's Giorgio's night on Saturday night. Yeah, he's really looking forward to it. Such a, yacht, a young, hot, young prospect as well. I mean, we were with him at Matchroom HQ and uh, we had the barbecue. Giorgio was starving himself. <laughs> I ate his fair share, I think. That's what I'm trying to say. I'll, I'll be... Eat, you, you the sausages and all that. I didn't have any of that. I'll be real. I genuinely believe, um, and not just because he stood here next to me, I genuinely believe that Giorgio is one of, if not the best prospect, under 10, under 15 fights coming out of Britain right now. I think he has all the potential in the world to go and be uh, uh, a top-level fighter, genuinely. Um, he does things now at such a young age, so naturally and so uh, easily, that people that have won world titles, defended world titles, that they couldn't even think to do. Um, he has such a good grasp of range, um, timing, rhythm, and he hits hard too i mean he's got as quick and as precise feet of as i've seen in a boxing ring probably coming from his kickboxing having so much uh, balance and just knowing where his body is in, in the bottom half where boxers sometimes are very top heavy minded and, and one thing that makes me a good fighter is my footwork so being able to work with Giorgio and see it so up close and and 
help support him in any which way he needs. Um, yeah, I think he's got a great team around him. He's got a great coach in Mark Tibbs. Um, he's got good support from his, his amateur coaches that I brought him through as well, still doing his corner here, Steve Waters. He's got a fantastic team, the world's best promoter, Eddie Hearn, and he's already earned the platform. I mean, people might not have really noticed it or paid much uh, mind to it, but after his last fight, at 7 o'clock on the show, uh, uh, a prospect going 3-0, and Eddie jumped in the ring. That doesn't happen often. So, Giorgio, what's it like to have Sonny in your corner? Oh, I mean, you rest your hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rest your hand. Yeah, we know you're young. What's it like to have someone like Sonny in your corner? You know, world champion background, you know, great pedigree. What does it mean to you? It means you know, coming into the sport. It means right a lot. Um, not just as a as a mentor, as a friend. You know what I mean? He's uh, and he's been there, been there and done it. <laughs> like, and he's still doing I, I it. it wrong last time in the press conference. <laughs> he has that. He has been there and done it. I got it wrong, um, but no, it's good. Uh, the advice is um, the best you, you'll get, and um, he's a wealth of knowledge. Is and one of the most charismatic guys in boxing as well. You know, when you jumped in on interviews and we've been all talking with Coogan before, uh, then really makes you chuckle. Yeah. So I think you know when when he does decide to hang up his gloves, he should be should definitely be working that side of the mic as well, don't you think? One yeah, of definitely. the fantastic guys. Yeah, yeah. So, Sonny, what next for you? Well, I mean, I know you look at, is there anyone on the radar? You know, obviously well, you're, my, you're I'll be, fight I, as well. I'll be real. I don't look past what we've got right in front of us. And on Saturday night, I've got spit bucket duties. So, um, you know, we're worried. Yes. We wor yeah, we're worried <laughs> about, and, and if he does, so be it. He's Hollywood. He can do what he wants. Um, but yeah, in all seriousness, just one week at a time. I am very busy with boxing. If I'm not fighting or preparing for a fight, that's probably the the quietest time I get. As soon as I come out of the, the ring, look, fight week for Giorgio straight after. I've got a few more coming through the back end of summer. It, it, we get a little bit of a quieter period at the back end of July and early August, so I'm looking forward to that. Maybe get a holiday in or something. But yeah, just straight back on, on the horse. We've got meetings, so um, I don't think this will put me out too long. So yeah, I'm looking before the end of the year to be back out and hopefully it's uh, a big fight, which I've, I've, I've been promised. So. That's what I'm looking for. But in between that, just making sure that Giorgio has everything he wants. If he needs someone to run and go get him some chewing gum or, or, or ice cream or, or water from the shop, then th th that, that's all I'm doing right now. I doubt that. But, yeah, buckets. go get it yourself. What? Sorry? And holding the bucket. No, no, no. You've got to understand. you got to understand. When the boxers on fight week, the only thing they need to worry about is making the weight, relaxing uh, and enjoying themselves and ready for the fight. What do you think everyone else is here for? We're here only here for Giorgio. If Giorgio weren't fighting, and no slight to Johnny, I like Johnny Fisher, but I wouldn't be here this week. We're all here for Giorgio, so we're on his timing. Whatever he needs, whatever he wants, that's what we're here for. So that's how, how every fighter should be looked after, proper I mean, protected. We've, we've worked with you quite a bit, haven't we? And, and, and from the very first fight up to now, such a grounded young man as well. Sometimes fighters lose their feet, don't they, a little bit and get delusions of grandeur. But Too many, this yeah, man. I think they're superstars as well. Yeah. Too many. I think I'm the most real person out there, really. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, there's too many fakes. I've seen them in the amateurs, the most quietest people in the world, it's all because they've gone pro and out of someone different. So I've always kept the same uh, mentality, be humble, and, um, and I, I keep, be, keep doing the same, whoever I am. Well, Giorgio, it's going to be a cracking night tomorrow. You know we got your back. We're going to be there. And uh, good luck. And also with you, Sonny. Speedy recovery, and can't wait to see you back in the ring. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Always.